this is one for the record. I'm Diana Marks. Today I have a very special guest. I have producer, writer, actor Shane Devins. Welcome, Shane. Thank you for having me on your show, Diana. Right. Uh, I guess on YouTube I showed uh, a few things about uh, 2012 Stargate. And uh, so I was warming up to some of the answers that I had questions and strange callers calling in. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is almost like a continuation, but for our immediate, you know, immediate attention, um, which you brought to me is our economy. So. Well, you know, there's three newspapers. You know, I, I don't watch the news a lot because, you know, there's movies that are on or whatever, and there's a lot of depressing, you know, people getting killed. There's not really much right. good news on the news, and it's depressing. This is the Los Angeles Times, Wednesday, July 16th, 2008. Economic concerns deepen. A, president, a presidential pep talk is at odds with higher prices, lower sales, and gloomy words from the Federal Reserve chief. There are, what, nine major banks. How many banks that have collapsed? How many? I, don't, I, mean, I, don't I think there's 19 on the list, though. There's oh. a 19 on the list, and it was like Freddie Mac, um, the, you know, the Mac Foundation. There has uh, been a lot Indy of them. Mac, Diane. a lot of them. Chase Manhattan, I think. Yeah, but there's 19. I'm not sure about Chase, but there's 19 major banks on a list. I remember seeing that on the news. I want you to think about this, that with the rising cost of, of energy, this is a vicious circle that forces everything to be raised in price, and the value of the dollar does not equate the cost of living. Oh, I think the consumer is quite aware of that, even though they, and, and, and now they're raising the meters. What the hell does that have to do with anything? I mean, wherever you, they can gouge, they're gouging everywhere from food, necessities, to a place of living. That started a few years ago, you know? Well, you know, another thing is that um, no one in government, in this two-party system that we're forced to vote for. We have only two jokers that are going to run on a ticket. How are these two guys, one's hoping for change with, with Obama. I might, there's only one thing that, that dissatisfies me with him is because that I've recently turned my faith to Christ is that he believes in a secular type of all faith type of thing and we believe there's only one God. But McCain would be an extension of the Bush, Bush administration. So really, who do we have to pick? And would he actually walk away either one of these two guys from the Rockefeller Foundation membership of the Council on Foreign Relations globalist type of UN friendly government type thing would they really go to bat for the people either one of these guys well I'm just worried that with one of the candidates either way we might have because of how our economy is and how our past history in Los Angeles has been I'm just worried that if someone wins or or, or it's a no-win situation because if someone wins there might be a riot if someone loses, there might be a riot. Now, don't tell me that hasn't crossed your mind. I mean, I was born here. I lived here basically all my life. You lived here basically all of your life, most of it. And our history has shown that certain circumstances and when the economy's bad, for some reason, we, you know, we, have a, we find a reason to, to riot. And I, I don't know why, but I think it's because they might get insurance for their houses that they burn instead of having to pay the mortgages now. You see what I'm saying? We're almost to that point by the end of this year, and that's what everybody's starting to think in the back of their mind. You know what I mean? It is well, what, what you're talking about, I don't, I'm not exactly clear, but I will tell you this, and I, I hope that it, that's not the case, but if the economy continues to plummet into a meltdown, and if the cost of living exceeds and continues to rise against the value of the Federal Reserve note, which is not a part of our treasury. They charge money to banks to lend them their treasury notes. The Federal Reserve is not a part of the U.S. Treasury. It's very complicated. But it's a central reserve bank, which is not backed by anything. And it's supposed to be backed by the silver and gold standard to give it something to back it up. And printing money into a, in infinity is not going to last well, forever. I, I think we're all aware of the situation, but I think there's a deeper thing going on to distract the public. Before you get in that point, I want to say one last thing okay. before you grab the reins oh, of this and right. take it over. These two parties, and I'm much more, you know, because of my faith as a Christian, much more of a conservative than I'm a liberal. In some ways, I guess I'd be a liberal in some ways, but these two parties do not stand for anything great. 
It is these two parties which have monopolized the political system. And it is these two parties that have led us into war and led us into $10 trillion worth of debt. And they're not one person that should be in America that should be homeless or hungry. Anyone in this country should not be poor. Sounds like we should be written in on the ticket. Maybe you can write us in on the ticket. Maybe we'll win instead. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it's a no-win situation all the way around. So far, what's handed to us on the plate. That's it. Well, you know, I'm sad to hear that I don't know Obama's not going to get behind the church and McCain is a very much a wishy-washy flip-flopper. I mean, is he, is he going to, um, you know, you know if, if God is almighty, which I know he is, if we were to turn our faith to the Lord, that all these problems that we're facing would go away. And as we move away from that, the protection and the prosperity that our nation has had will continue to dwindle as we right. move away from One the faith. One nation under God. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, okay, just to go a little further, because this is all public knowledge, what's going on right now, and it's fueled by the, um, it is fueled by the media, it's fueled by everything else. But I believe, I believe that there's another reason behind making us worry about the economy, food, whatever's going on right now. Because we do have, like on my last show, if you, anybody tuned in, was the problem with uh, December 21st, 2012. And you can look that up online, you know, anywhere, Google it. December 21st, 2012 is what's going on. And we're being distracted from really uh, protecting ourselves and decide what we're going to do about the, there's going to be a solar event, there's going to be uh, uh, there's going to there's going to be all types of events going on on that day. There's like five different ways the planets are going to line up. There's a black hole right there. Um, we have been uh, I guess right now uh, there's a planet called Nibiru heading our way, and we will see. So mark my words, you will see another planet between us and the moon. So you're going to see that it's going to be pretty big. We got a front row seat, but we're not talking about that, are we? Instead, everything is falling apart and crumbling because the greedy people decided to get so greedy uh, to protect themselves. I'm sure they're hoarding all their canned goods, running to the caves with it. And you see what I'm saying? They're distracting the public from what's really going on. It's well, a distraction. Reg regardless, of, I, I don't, what you're saying could very well be true. I don't know anything about well, it, but well, I can well, tell you this much, that the, the Lord's word had said that in the end times, before when the end of the grace period of the church would end, that there'd be cataclysmic troubles right. so, before the rise so of we this are in, world we're dictated in the, the end, Antichrist. We're in the doomsday. Why don't we show what was on the, not to incite like any mass hysteria. Let's see what was on the, uh, after my show, I saw the C LA City Beat uh, magazine that's out there in the newsstands for free. Why don't we show a picture of that? That I, I would think that would be very interesting. I mean, um, I mean, it's starting to happen. They are gonna come out with two movies about 2012. They're slowly introducing that. They're introducing uh, aliens and everything else. If, if possible, can we show that magazine cover if we, if we have it available right now? Just a quick glance. So I want Shane to see that in our audience. There it is. Oh, look at that. Now, that wouldn't incite any panic, would it? Uh, Apocalypse Doomsday 2012. I mean, that's on the front newsstand. May I at least say this? There's one thing that in our, my faith, in our, in our faith, that, I mean, there would always be signs that they say it says of wars and rumors of wars and great strife and, and turmoils. It says also that these are the, the warnings before this cataclysmic event, well, which would maul there, a third There's of the date right there. I, nobody really knows. It says well, in the Word that nobody, not even Christ himself, knows the time he is to come except right, for the Father. Right, right. But okay, we, we, we'll go with that. We know some stuff. Well, we know we're in Revelations probably right now, right? We're problems, man. Yeah, I problems. mean, if not, then it's someone who's, they're following the script of the Bible anyway, and they're following through the steps that's in the Bible with some of this stuff.